I attempted to max out my bingo card in Hypixel Skyblock. And if I fail, I have to give away 100 million coins. I had 7 days to complete the challenge, and here's how it went. I started off my journey by creating a new bingo profile that is similar to an Iron Man. I had to complete the task with no bizarre, AH, and without trading players. There are a total of 25 tasks I had to complete in the 7 days, ranging from easy tasks such as crafting a backpack and reaching skill average 7, to insane difficult ones such as collecting 50k or rabbit and getting a pet to level 100. My objective was to unlock all the areas by the end of the day, so I started by farming wheat to get my farming level up to level 10 so I could participate in the farming events. I then decided to mine some sand so I can unlock the deep caverns, however I did not have telekinesis on my shovel, so I went back to the gold mine to add it, and then a nice man actually showered me in grand experience bottles, which was very appreciated and will be used in the future. After I mined some sand, I went ahead and started chopping some trees to get my strength up and unlock the forging island. I was then gifted some XP, speed, and haste by someone from my stream so I could mine the logs faster. While I had these potion effects, I decided to grind tier 1 of all the wood, mining, and farming minions to increase my minion slots. Something that I desperately needed to unlock was the end island, so I decided to buy an undead sword to kill lapis zombies and grind it for lapis armor. Once I got the armor, I enchanted it and had 500 HP, which is one of the tasks on the bingo board. Only 24 more to go! After I enchanted my lapis armor, I bought a mercenary axe from spawn and got my combat to level 12 by killing monsters in the obsidian sanctuary. Having combat 12 would allow me to finally travel to the end. Once I spawned at the end, I was not ready at all to kill Enderman and was getting obliterated. Thankfully, I was lucky enough to find someone killing Enderman and leaving the Ender Pearls on the ground for bingo players to pick up. After this, I put a few minions down overnight and was able to complete one more task which was to craft 25 unique minions. The last thing I decided to do was grab myself a few pets, those being the Grandma Wolf pet in the Spider's Den, a bee pet from Bea, and the Griffin pet from Diana. While these pets seem random, there was a purpose to this madness as I needed to get 6 unique pets for one of the bingo board quests. By the end of day 1, I was only 8% of the way done with the bingo board. This was not a great start. On day 2, I logged into Skyblock and decided to get some basic tasks out of the way. The first one being to collect my minions. Overnight, my Ender minions produced a bunch of Ender Pearls, which I then used to start collecting Fairy Souls in the hub. This was not only to get extra stats, but also to complete one of the other tasks, which was to collect 50 Fairy Souls. After I finished collecting the Fairy Souls, I decided to collect the relics from the Spider's Den. For those of you who don't know, you can talk to the archaeologist by the campfire in the Spider's Den, and he'll give you a task to hunt down 28 of these so-called relics. Each one you collect will provide 10 to 20k coins. Since I finally had some ability with the Ender Pearls, I decided to collect them all. The first few were very easy to get, however some of them were in an area filled with level 40 plus spiders. As a non in lapis armor, I got wrecked by them, so I decided to give up on this task for now and come back to it later. In the meantime, I went ahead and grinded up 10 enchanted coal, lapis, and redstone. I gave those resources to the NPC that allows you to unlock the Dwarven Mines. The moment I entered the Dwarven Mines, I quickly bought a mithril pick so that I could mine both titanium and mithril. After an hour or so of mining, I finally unlocked the common rock pet. You need to mine 2500 ores to acquire this pet, which would be crucial in not only completing the task to have 6 unique pets, but to also complete another task which is to get any common pet to level 100. Even though this pet would be the fastest to level up, this task was going to be a nightmare. A goal I decided to give myself was to complete at least 20 commissions in the Dwarven Mines a day, which you will see why later. Another thing I had to do was to start killing Ice Walkers for both their armor and for combat XP. I needed to get combat 15 desperately in order to enter dungeons for two other bingo challenges, which I would do later on. By the end of my Ice Walker grind, I got every armor piece except the leggings, which I just gave up on for the day as it wasn't that important. After my Ice Walker grind, I quickly unlocked the campfire badge, the wolf paw, and Melody's hair. While I was getting these talismans, my chat informed me that the manga boss was about to spawn. So I immediately rushed back to spawn and bought an artisanal shortbow and every talisman from the adventure NPC to get more damage. Buying those talismans finished another quest which was to have 7 unique accessories. I reforced the for extra damage and headed towards the Mango Boss to find out my timer for when the Mango Boss spawned was off and I missed killing it. Most people think the Mango Boss is one of the most useless bosses in the game, which is true, but one of the bingo board tasks was to wear one piece of ember armor. The easiest armor piece to craft was the boots, which required 4 ember fragments. The boss drops 1 to 6 ember frags, depending on your damage. However, since I was a noob, I could only get a max of 1 per boss, which would be a minimum of 4 boss fights, if I get a frag every time. This task was very important to not forget about, as I needed to make sure to increase my chances of getting an ember fragment 
as much as possible by doing every magma boss I could. I ended the day by crafting even more minions to unlock more minion slots, which I then used to place some more redstone and lapis minions, and that is the end of day two. Things were getting tough. We still had over half of the challenges left, and I still haven't even started on the hardest ones yet. I grinded to combat level 15 by killing some more ice walkers in order to officially enter dungeons. I need to get enough cat XP to reach floor 2 and complete it. After a few entrants and floor 1 runs, I was finally able to play floor 2. I play as a healer in order to get milestone XP a lot easier. Once we finished the floor 2, I got extremely lucky and dropped the rarest item of them all. Please, for the love of God, bank 1. Bank 1, please. No one ever asked for bank 1, but I'm asking for it right now, gods. Please, gods, bank 1. Combo, okay. Bank 1, let's go! Yeah! Okay, all jokes aside, this book is pretty garbage, as we all know, but again, one of the bingo board tasks was to unlock an ultimate enchant, which funny enough, a bank one counts. Who knew someone would get so excited over dropping a bank one book? Thankfully, right after I finished this, I had just enough time to kill a magma boss. Okay, dude, we're doing like, am I doing, okay, okay, nice, how many fragments is that? One? Bruh, we need to do this four times? That's so bad. We need four of these, right? Oh my god. Getting this fragment was good, but you are never guaranteed to drop an ember fragment, so I had a lot more bosses to go. While at spawn, I noticed that one of the quests was to get one Jacob sticker. Luckily for me, I accidentally entered a farming competition while trying to increase my minion slots, which is pretty convenient. That is another quest off the board. Next, I decided to get my Red Slayer to level 3, so I had my chat help me kill some bosses so we can go by faster. Unfortunately, my video didn't record properly, so just trust me on this, this task was also done. I then continued my goal of doing 20 commissions in the Dover Mines every day to level my rock pet up some more. One other thing that I was not focusing on was the toughest bingo board task of them all, which is getting 50k raw rabbit collection. So I decided to put some rabbit minions on my island, which should hopefully produce enough raw rabbit by the end of the challenge. That was the end of day 3. Today my goal was to take on some of the harder challenges on the bingo board, those being getting a million coins in the bank and having 6 unique pets. So I partied some people in my stream and did a little cheese strat. I called the boys in the stream the Mithril Squad. The Mithril Squad came with me to the Dwarven Mines and filled their inventory with random stuff and had no mining stacks on them. This would force the Mithril to be dropped on the ground, allowing bingo players to pick up the Mithril instead. This helped me save a lot of time and allowed me to get 1 million coins in about an hour of work. With those 1 million coins, I decided to buy a Raider's Axe, which is a big increase of damage for me, a 20% mining EXP boost for my Rock Pet, and a Titanium Pickaxe, which I would regret buying later on. I then attempted another Magma Boss, however I was too late and missed it. Now, as for the 6 unique pets, we already had 4 of those, being the Grandma Wolf, Bee, Griffin, and Rock Pet. For the last two, I had a great plan. There was a traveling zoo happening tonight, and I was hoping for a common pet to show up. Thankfully there was, and I was able to buy a common giraffe for 10k coins and a stack of acacia logs. Now we only needed one more pet. I was lucky enough to get into a god splash and now had enough damage to take on the 4.5k health enderman. So I decided to grind out the enderman till I dropped a common enderman pet, which took about an hour, thus completing another bingo task. After I got the enderman pet, I went ahead and killed another magma boss, which dropped the second ember fragment I needed only two more to go. I ended off the day by doing some commissions in the Dwarven Mines and clicked my minions. I was not sure whether or not I would be able to complete this challenge, as I needed to grind 70k cobblestone to unlock the Super Compactor 3000 recipe, but all this time my minions only had produced 10k cobblestone. So I had to bring in the big guns. I asked my chat to come help and join the elite group known as the Cobble Squad. People in the Cobble Squad wore mineral armor and filled their inventory so all the cobble would go onto the ground. I would then collect said cobble in order to increase my collection. Everything was going to plan, I only needed half a stack of enchanted cobble to finish the task, and then this happened. Oh, I'm- no. Bro, I'm so stupid. Okay, okay, this is so bad. I'm- I'm an- oh. That's right, like an idiot, I crafted the haste ring on accident while not paying attention. So Cobble Squad felt defeated and wanted to give up, but we persevered and moved to a better location to mine cobble. 
all that work paid off thanks to the cobble squad, and I was able to get enough cobblestone to craft the super compactor 3000. Thankfully, I'd also saved up enough redstone for my minions and pre-crafted the enchanted redstone block, so the hardest task of the day was done. Next, I decided to go ahead and grind potatoes in the hub, since one other task was to craft a hot potato book which required 50k potato collection. This took about 2 hours, so not too bad. After this, I fought another magma boss and got my third ember frag, only one more left. Lastly, I continued my commissions in the Dwarven Mines and placed down zombie and blaze minions, since I needed 5k blaze rods and 7.5k rotten flesh for two of the bingo board challenges. And that was the end of day 5. Time was of the essence. I had six challenges left that I had to do in order to complete the board. Those were wearing a piece of ember armor, using a titanic XT bottle on myself, getting any pets to level 100, getting 7.5k rotten flesh collection, 5k blade rod collection, and 50k raw rabbit collection. My first task of the day was to mine lapis, so I went ahead and spent three hours getting lapis to craft the titanic XP bottle and splash it on myself. With that being done, one down, five to go. I then decided to go ahead and take on one more Mega Boss, which led to my last frag need to craft the boots. That's two down, four to go. While this is great and all, we ran into a problem. You see, my rock pet was not even close to level 100 at the time, so I decided to grind out a ton of commissions. Remember that titanium pickaxe I bought earlier? Yeah, well that was a mistake. I should have instead invested that into a 40% mining EXP boost, as that would have made it a lot faster to level my rock pet. Thankfully, I was able to sell a ton of stuff and ended up buying that to increase the XP gain on my rock. It was very late. I got my rock pet to around level 96 before I was so exhausted that I went to bed, and we still had four challenges left to do, and we only had one day left. It was the last day to complete the bingo board, and the race is very tight. I started off by collecting my minions. Thankfully, I had Blaze and Diamond minions overnight to complete both collections. All that was left was two tasks, get a pet to level 100 and 50k rabbit collection. Now, I had a big brain play here. You see, what I did was I made sure I got 100 commissions, because once you get 100 commissions, you get 400k mining XP for reaching that milestone. So I got myself a God Splash and collected it with my Rock Pet. This is how it went. Okay, boom. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we have enough here. And then we go like this. Alright, what level's the pet? We just got 400,000 XP. Let's go! It worked, bro! Let's go! Alright, we're good, boys. We're good. We done, boys. Alright, oh my... As you can see, that gave us a massive boost in XP and got the pet all the way to level 100. Now, all that was left was the last and most gruesome challenge, the 50k Rabbit Collection. You see, I put down the Rabbit Minions way too late. I only had 35k Raw Rabbit Collection, so I was going to have to grind the last 15k on stream. We had literally 5 hours to do so. The first thing I did was I had someone help me unlock the Rabbit Axe by bringing a rabbit up the mountain in the Mushroom Desert. Once I got the axe, it doubled my output of drops, but the problem was I couldn't one-shot the rabbits even with a god splash, so I had to have a lava blade in order to damage them enough before I can one-shot them. This took a long time, but finally after several hours I did it. With only two hours to spare, I had completed the bingo board and successfully passed the challenge. The first thing I did before I grabbed the special item showing my accomplishment was I blew up my island never wanting to see another rabbit ever again. Boys. It was fun, while it lasted, okay? React to my island, hold on, we gotta do this. Time to go boom boom. <laughs> All right, let's see if I die. <laughs> Am I gonna die to this? It did no damage, oh frick, oh god. <laughs> oh frick. We ranked in the top 200 people to complete this bingo board. Honestly, this took 42 hours and was very unreasonable. So hopefully next time, this is a lot easier, Hypixel. If you want to see me play more Skyblock, I'm live on YouTube and Twitch several times a week, so feel free to stop by. Alrighty boys, see ya!